Torchland has a new event in game where you have to basically finish uh, epic challenge raids. Yes, I know it's an annoying event, but you guys have to do it. So here is my guide on completing the Blight Dragon epic challenge mode. Yes, sir. We completed this a week ago on stream. If you guys want to tune into the stream, you can check it out on Twitch. But hopefully this guide helps you guys out. Enjoy the video. Now we are using uh, one tank to healer setup. The reason for that is damage now i do think with a good team you can do this with two tanks and two healers which i will explain later but if you have to worry about damage you should probably go with one tank so it's a little <clears throat> how did we got all the raids for the first time on now at the start of the fight what you want to do is you want to go to your partner the boss puts a chain to everybody and the two closest players will get chained together. When you have the chain, you cannot go far away from the person you're chained to, or you will take too much da damage and you will wipe the raid. What was the difference? Uh, may I now, since the tank and the healer is chained together, the tank will be getting hit from the boss, and the boss doesn't do a cleave attack. So if the healer is too close, uh, it will one shot the healer and when one person dies with the chain the other one will too so as you guys can see here what we're doing is we're going to have the healer chained just the right distance so he doesn't take damage and doesn't get hit by the cleave you know uh, when is my turn because the for some reason i cannot see the schedule uh, there's no turn right now here just up. like the normal mode or epic mode what you want to do here is when the turret spawns you want to make sure that you destroy the pyro uh before it reaches the turret and breaks it you also want to be grabbing the yellow things that drop from the ground because everybody in the team needs to get one yellow uh for the boss to get weakened when you guys are doing the challenge mode fuck after Which you have to continue killing the ad here is very important again watch your chain if you're too far you might uh, wipe right and left now for the share damage you guys can go right and left you cannot stack together uh, or you will wipe so we have five on one side and five on the other side here is also very important if you're chained together uh, you should probably be underneath the same share damage knock back grab yellows if you need he needs one now the boss does a knockback and as you guys can see what we do here is we all stay back and the reason for that is you can chase the boss and do more damage but we were not lacking any dps so what we do is we just let uh, everybody get knocked back and we wait for the boss uh, that way nobody gets hit by a tornado and it's less room for a disaster however if you are lacking dps you should probably get a speed boost from a healer and start dpsing the boss uh, up there I take this one in the back here. And watch for tornadoes. Coming straight for him. Four. Go to blue. Now the third ad will spawn here. You just do the same thing. You. Wipe the ad and get ready for the boss to become weakened. And here you have to make sure that everybody in your team has a yellow buff. Grab yellows if you need. Ready to burst. Boss becomes weak and make sure you all use your scrap zone and your max burst to burst it down as much as you can. The best way to check if you are in a DPS range for the boss is when it becomes weak the first time, the boss should be below 57% HP.
kill the cage. When the boss wakes up again, make sure you guys to destroy the cage around the fire prison. And once the cage is down, make sure you guys nuke the ad as fast as possible and get it to go and stand on your color. You want to make sure you're on the correct line, don't overlap each other, uh, and make sure the tank and the healer has the first two colors. The ad. Get on your colors. Don't move. Don't move. Move. I got the eat Ready to share damage right and left. It's a little chaotic here, but again, share damage right and left side. Five on each side, and you're good to go. Get ready for the knockback. Not too far. Good. All right, get ready to knock back. Aim yourselves. The tank and the healer should start moving to the right side. You position yourself next to the last turret, while everybody else here should be destroying this cage. When you guys are destroying the cage, remember the cage wipes or dies. It will leave a big AOE. So be ready for that. Don't get hit by the tornadoes that are coming and destroy the ad when you and then move back to the boss. Very important when you move back to the boss, do not run too fast. And remember, you guys still have a chain. Careful. Which target? Kill that. Hold the attack. No, no, okay. okay. Oh, we're good, we're good. We have potions. Just take pots, guys, if you need to. The strategy we use here is we leave the fire prison at around half HP. We don't want to destroy the fire prison yet. And then when the four add spawn, we either put it underneath the boss or on top of the cage so we can AV them. And start killing the DPS the cage to 80% and then stop and then get back on the boss. Back on the boss now. Back on the boss. Okay, okay, on top of it. Boss. On top of the... Yeah, it's okay. You focus the one on the underneath, what? okay? <laughs> Kill, kill, kill them, kill the ashes. Kill the ashes now. Okay, ball. Now the boss will put immolation on the two furthest targets in the back. The healers make sure you heal them to full. And then the orbs will spawn on the left and right side of the boss. Make sure you guys have two players assigned to the orb. And then make sure the orbs touch. Here you guys can see that I make a mistake. I run too far away from my partner, which leaves our chain to break. Uh, and then we die. Now. Careful guys with the balls. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get all the way over here. Come with me. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm coming with you. Come with you. Revive me. Oh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Just, it's okay. Just grab yellows. Can we revive him? Okay. We need, we need, I need to know if you can revive him. Yeah, Talk to me. Really you have to make sure that all the yellows, everybody has a yellow buff. As we died, we lost our yellow buffs. So we have to grab new ones, so make sure you are getting those. There is one. Okay, okay, get yellows, get yellows. I need the if it's yellow. Kill the cage, kill the cage, guys. Kill the cage, kill the cage, kill the cage. Right. Now, after all the four ads have died, you're done with the orb. You guys can now finish the fire prison and then destroy the ad. I have one, I have one. I, okay. I'm not getting any get, yellow, get this bro. One. Get this yellow, find us, find us. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Kill that, kill that. Fast, 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 fast. I think it's too late, right? No, it should be in time. This is good, this is good. Okay, you ready to burst? Get behind the boss. Get behind the boss. Same as before, use your burst and inscribe stones to make sure you drop the boss at least below 17 or 18 percent. Okay. Burst, mm -hmm. burst, burst, burst. Oh my god. Position yourself now, I've come a bit yeah. more to the right. You're gonna get knockback now? Get ready for knockback? Same as before, same as before. Knockback now. Come to the When boss wakes up, he does an immediate knockback. Make sure the tank and healer are positioned. A little bit to the right. Stealth. A little bit to the right, stealth. Bro, listen, man. Why? Come, it's okay, it's okay. Focus up, focus up. Now, once you are not positioned correctly, remember when you one person dies, the one chain to them dies. So here, as you saw, both died because one person wasn't close enough because of the chain. And after this, we do the same thing again. Instead of running back to damage, uh, we stay back because we have enough DPS. If you're lacking DPS, you should probably run to the boss here to keep DPSing. 
I can rest quit. No rainbow, come to the left a bit. You okay? Just go blue, go blue marker. We're gonna put the it on orange. We're gonna put the f ads on orange, on orange, on orange, on orange. Okay, come. Yeah, put them here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the boss is coming back, now he will spawn the four ads again. Make sure you guys put them on top of each other and then destroy them as fast as possible. This is, good, this, is good, this is good. This is good. This is good. Right here. All right, let's let's burst these. Uh, what is the next is fire? You need to catch the fire now. After the four has spawned, the tank will get the leaping flame again. Like earlier, it's gonna be three meters coming from above. Make sure the tank catches all three of them. Same, yeah. yeah. Copy you need to Copy walk come. with him, remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. I do. Get the last side, guys. Get the last side. Good. After this is colors, so everybody have to get ready for the colors, okay? Make space. Remember to make space for everybody. Remember your colors. Go to them. Now, after the leaping flame is done, it's gonna spawn the colors again. You guys know the colors from before, and that is why we're getting knocked back at the same spot. So the colors are still there, so we can position ourselves on the colors, get it ready for the next phase. Go to your colors. Don't move, don't this. move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, move now. It's gonna be orbs now. Move, you have to be with me, and rainbow, you have to go oh, with Oh, yeah, you. yeah. I'm next to you. I'm in here, next to you. Use the burst potions, guys. Next up, the orbs are spawning again, like area left and right side of the boss. Make sure two players are grabbing them. The per person that's close to the orb will get them, just like the challenge mechanic in normal dungeons. Uh, and make sure they touch each other. Very easy. Orbs. Yeah, orbs now. It's on quit. It's okay, quit. Don't move, quit, don't move. Quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it. Stay with me with the chain. Uh, you, kill I'm the boss. No. Kill okay, kill we kill got it. We got to kill the boss. Kill the boss. Kill now, the last mechanic after this, since we finished it earlier, if you don't finish early enough, the next mechanic is going to be shared damage. Now, if your team is dead like this, the two players that get shared damage should just insta die uh, or use a reduction if they have. If you have everybody alive, stack on right and left side, like earlier, five on each side, and you can t uh, tank the shared damage. After the share damage, the last mechanic is a boss will fly up in the air. There's a massive enraged AoE. You can survive with some reductions and stuff, but usually that is the one that wipes everybody. Good luck on the raid, guys. You guys got this. Oh, oh, yes. Holy. That was such a mess. Holy shit. I hate, oh my God, I hate, free. Guys. <laughs> I hate, I hate all of you. Oh, For real. I hate all of you. Replace oh, me. Man. Replace me. I, I, what I a mess, uh, bro. That's I, a messy it, ass run. Thanks for watching. That is my guide to the Blight Dragon Epic Challenge Mode. I hope you guys completed it. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to check out this video right here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.